Hi, I'm Rebecca Coleman, food blogger and cookbook author, and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest and most delicious vegetarian soup stock. This recipe is a vegetarian or a vegan version of bone broth, which is something that's been really, really popular over the last year or so. This version features no animal products whatsoever, but it still has tons of really healthy ingredients that are very good for you. There's a bunch of different things you could do with this recipe. You could use it as a soup stock. You could make ramen with it. Ramen, people. Oh. You could make miso soup with this. Um, you could use it in risottos, you could use it in stews, basically anything that you can use soup stock for, this is gonna be awesome. Let's get started. So, I'm making mine in my slow cooker, and there's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is that making it in your slow cooker makes it incredibly easy. There's no babysitting, you don't have to worry about anything. You literally chuck everything in there, turn it on, and 24 hours later you have soup stock. It's really, really simple. You could easily make this on the back of your stove, just on really low heat, let it simmer for a few hours, and you'll get the same result. This is just the next step lazy. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to making soup stock, it's really, really simple. All you need is a bunch of aromatics, some water, and a few extra goodies. So we're starting with aromatics. First of all, carrots. You don't even have to peel these. All you have to do is just wash them, cut them into chunks, right into the bowl. We're also using some celery, same deal. Washed, cut it into chunks, in the bowl. Also using some onions. Onions, so good for soup stock. You'll notice I haven't even peeled these. I actually leave the peels on on purpose because it's gonna give your soup stock a really nice dark color. Finally, I'm adding some cloves of garlic. Just whole cloves of garlic, not chopped, not peeled, nothing. Just right into the pot. This time around, I'm also gonna add to my soup stock some sad kale that I didn't get around to using up. You don't have to do anything to it. Just tear it up, leave the ribs on, doesn't matter. Chuck it all in there. I also like to add to my soup stocks bay leaves. These are really great for giving it that sort of woodsy, aromatic kind of flavor. Okay, time to make our soup stock interesting. I could add water to this, let this cook down for 24 hours, and I'd have a great soup stock. But I want to take this to the next level. And we're going to do that by adding some special ingredients. Special ingredient number one, shiitake mushrooms. These are dry shiitake mushrooms, easy to get in any sort of Asian supermarket. They look like kind of little hockey pucks. <laughs> and these are going to add some really great flavor to our soup stock. I'm going to add these like maybe about a half a dozen of them into the pot. Secret ingredient number two, kombu. Kombu is a dried seaweed that comes from Japan. And it is full of all this really delicious flavor on the outside that comes naturally from it coming from the ocean. All you have to do is cut it up into a couple of little strips. Woo! And into the pot goes that as well. Finally, my last two secret ingredients, miso paste. Miso paste is fermented soybean paste, and it is umami, so it gives it that unctuous kind of taste to your soup stock. It's gonna just add a really excellent extra dimension of flavor to the stock that's gonna put it over the top. I'm just gonna add a spoonful of this. It's also quite salty, so you can add less salt to your soup stock because it has lots of salt in it. Optional last ingredient that you could add to your soup stock is a little bit of nutritional yeast, or nooch as we like to call it. Nooch is great for vegetarians. It contains tons of B12, which is something that we as vegetarians may not get naturally through our diets. So you could always add a couple tablespoons of this to your stock. It also gives everything it touches this kind of cheesy, nutty sort of flavor that is really wonderful. That's it, we're all done. Last thing left to do is to top up our soup pot with water, turn it on, 
cover it, and cook on low for 24 hours. Okay, so it's now been about 24 hours. It's actually been more than 24 hours um, because I turned off my crock pot and let it cool down for a little while so that I could work with it. Then all you do really simply is you just use a strainer and strain out. So you take the crock pot, pour your stuff into here, have this inside some kind of a bowl or a container to catch all the good stuff that's gonna come out. You don't need this anymore, this is no good. Um, it has done its work well. Um, so this, I would just put this into my organics and, uh, and it'll go back into the earth. Now, what you're left with is this gorgeous beautiful oh, look at that if you're not going to use this all up right away then here's what you do you take a muffin tin i have a silicone one and you just pour each one of these in there you put it in the freezer and then you freeze it and when it's done you pop them out like great big ice cubes and you have them in the freezer and you can just pop them one at a time and grab them and throw them into your stuff Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Give me a like or comment on my video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Why did I just make a YouTube video on my knees? <laughs>